Right now though, creative of the week. We talk about some of the things that make us laugh. We've seen them on TV. For me, that was the first time I've seen anything like that on Kenyan television. I'm talking about a show that is one of its kind. I'm talking about XYZ. The puppets, the way they come alive, doesn't that fascinate you? Well, it does. We've got those people for you in studio today. Hi, Ted. Hi, Hi Ross. How are you doing? You're well? Well, sir. Okay. So, Ted. Yes. I don't know where to begin. This is also fascinating. I see so many things. I don't know what this is. And being told, uh, maybe probably a little bit about what you do for XYZ. Okay, I'm a sculptor and a puppet maker. Mm -hmm. So, my job is to come up with these sculptures and then my other teammates will come up with the puppets. Okay, maybe we'll just start there. Okay. Before that, Ross, tell us what you do. I'm, I'm fascinated here. Okay, I'm the head of the department for the puppet making and for the art department which creates the sets and the props. Okay, yeah. all right. So I, where's the first process? Where do we begin making these characters? So this is where we begin. Okay. So we usually get the characters, then we come up with the sketches. So these sketches are basically caricatures. In caricatures, we exaggerate the features so that, you know, you can blow up the proportions and everything. Then they, as you can see in the sketches, the characters get to look That's funnier. Obama. Yeah, this is Obama. Okay. So that the characters get to look funnier and then we give life to them. Yeah, so we just tune up the volume a little bit so that we don't get to look exactly like the characters because we might get sued or something of the sort. <laughs> but then, yeah, so it, it just has to be very funny and uh, something that can appeal to everyone. When they look at it, they, they get to tell exactly who it is. All right. Yeah. So th that is definitely not Obama. Yeah, this is definitely not Obama. So can, who is that? I can't even tell. Uh, this is um, a politician named uh, Kipchumba Mulkomen. Okay. Yeah, he's in the process of being made into a puppet. So this is his capture. What material do you use for that? Uh, this is clay. So just clay and then you, mold, you sculpt it and that's it? Yeah, we sculpt it with these tools over here as you can see them. Can I touch? Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. oh okay. Yeah, so use clay because it's easily manipulated. And uh, after this is when I'll explain to you how, how it gets into the puppet form. Let's get there. Okay, so after the clay is done, um, this is fiberglass, so the fiberglass... Can I it? Is it heavy? Yeah, it's quite heavy, but... Okay. Okay. So this is the fiberglass. Mm -hmm. This is this is the job uh, we do to achieve the negative of the positive caricature. Negative, positive yeah. caricature. Yeah, so this is positive okay. in that it's, it's cut in positive and then we get the negative out of it. <laughs> Whoa, okay. This is negative. <laughs> yeah, no, this is quite negative. So this you get from that? Yeah, this you get from that. In that the fiberglass just to be on top of the okay. So that you get to get the negative. Now this is the negative we're referring to. Okay. Yeah. Then after we, we do the front side and the back side, we usually have the, a, a small thin layer of clay that's coming in between. And then create the backside of the of the fiberglass. Okay. Yeah. Very very interesting. Uh, Ross, what was the motivation behind coming up with X Y Z and mm. this puppet? Well, our uh, CEO Gado uh, started in 2003. He was in France and in England, and there are two shows that were running at that time: uh, the Spitting Image and the Gumyol in France. And because he, he's a caricature artist himself. He thought it would be a great idea to move from 2D into 3D and do something similar to, to those, those shows. Then in 2009, he met a, a, our other CEO, Marie, who is a French national, and she was more of the business lady, Gado the creative. Mm -hmm. They got together and uh, worked out how to, how, to work, how, to, how to move the show on. All right. Yeah. I'm sure at first it wasn't very, very easy coming up with this. We, uh, we are a country where we are very protective of our own. So coming up with a show that is almost is satirical and shows these other sides that we don't want to talk about. Very how was it for Kenyans and even uh, the media? How was it taken? To begin with, in fact, it, like they started in 2007. In 2009, XYZ show was de debated in parliament <laughs> uh, whether it was politically correct <laughs> yeah. by the politicians. 
but as you can see, we're still around, so that passed, so it's a nice thing to see that the, that freedom of speech in Kenya is allowed, which is nice. Okay, mm. let's go back to the process. So negative, positive, then what? So after we get the front side and the back side of the, of the cast, mm -hmm. uh, we come up with the interior. The job of the interior is to create the space for the eye mechanism and the puppet here to put in the hands. Yeah, so these are the these are the fingers, this is the thumb. This is where the, the thumb is coming in. Mm -hmm. And then as I'll show you in the next process. Okay. Yeah. It looks fragile, this will break easily. Yeah. No, actually this is quite strong. Okay. Yeah. So as you can see, these are these are thin layer over here. Mm -hmm. When you get to cover it, when you put that in there. Has, it has a, inside it, it has a very thin layer. Mm -hmm. That's where we get to pour in the liquid latex. Then, you know, the liquid latex is the one which will come into, into that after it's baked. Oh, this is almost uh, mattress-ish. Yeah. Okay. So this actually now takes the form of what you've done before. Yes. When you pour it in between, yeah. then it becomes this. Not yet. Not yet? Not yet. Okay. Yeah, so after you pour it in, Yes. You cover it up, lock it up and leave it for a few hours and then after a few hours you place it in the, in the oven where we bake it for three to four hours. Wow. Yeah. And then after that is when we achieve that. Wow. So yeah. this is baked stuff. Yeah, that is baked. <laughs> so <laughs> Not edible. <laughs> not really. Okay. So when we get this, what happens because it's not like that? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. uh, so after this is when we you get to you spray it first, you know, just get the first layer of the texture and everything. Then after that, we do the eye mechanism. So this is the eye mechanism. I'll let Mr. Ross show you how it works. Okay. Okay, so from, from there we have a few different processes which are including, like on this puppet, the Obama puppet, you can see that the hair is actually sewn in to the head. So it's, it's spray painted first. Uh -huh. The hair is, is, is punched in, thrown in, so it gives it a proper hairline. Okay. And then the eye, an eye mechanism is made by one of our specialists. So we have like an eye blink <laughs> and ah. a left and right movement. Can I do that? You can, please. <laughs> <laughs> Pressing for, yeah, that one's for it? left that's, and that's, right. That's the side one, yeah. left and right. Then and the top one, the b pushing in. The there eye you go. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So when you when you when you have everything in check, when you have this complete yeah. Obama here, you have this there. That's correct. Okay. That's inside. That's a large model version, but that is what Mr. Obama has inside his head. So you can also then see the smaller version which has also the eye blink <laughs> and the left and right. <laughs> okay. Mm. Wow. So. That's just the eye mechanism. That's correct. The mouth. I see them moving the hands. I see them laughing and dancing. Yes. How do we do that? Okay, that is then done again by specialists, uh, puppeteers. So we have, like, the head is just manipulated by placing your own hand inside into the mouth of the puppet. So you just have that for eye. How are you? <laughs> and then there's another puppeteer who puts his hand through this opening in the back of the back of the sleeve mm -hmm. and it comes out so you can you hold you actually you play like this when, when we're on on season and shooting you're yeah. holding the so puppet up above your head here that's right uh, and then high yeah so we're actually two people okay yeah so <laughs> we go high <laughs> Then it, it comes alive. I've always wanted to touch and see and feel. Yeah. This is, uh, for me, this is a dream come true. And how long does it take to like, make, because some of the times you watch XYZ, it's something very new, something that probably happened a week before yeah. uh, we see it on the show. Yeah. How do you, is it, is it, is it a fast process? Uh, it's very slow, in fact. It take, takes like one month, roughly, to produce a puppet. Uh, six people making one puppet. And then Six people making one puppet. That's correct. <laughs> There's one sculptor, specialist for the eyes, specialist for the hair, people who do the painting, and then there are 
And of course, when you come to the puppeteering, as I said, you need two people for each puppet. Mm -hmm. And of course, not everybody can do Obama's voice, for example. Yes. So you have a pre-recorded voice. So you see, for, for one puppet, there is that process of making one month, and you have to, to deliver the puppet's personality, three people. Let's talk about the personalities that handle the puppets. Yeah. Say like Obama and you have to get someone who speaks like Obama. Correct. So how are the sessions done? Are the voices recorded separately or how do they coordinate the voice and uh, the puppeteering? Yes, well we have a script obviously to start with, um, and written by script writers who look on the news, uh, what has been happening in, around the world. We specialize mainly in Kenya, but of course our, our friend Obama is also part, half Kenyan, so we like to use him as much as we can. Okay. And then there are, of course, we do lots of um, voices recorded separately mm -hmm. one, on one day, and then the next day we shoot the show. Okay. So it's all on playback. What? That's a lot of work. Tell, have you ever made a sculpture that, uh, um, that wasn't close to the person that you want to uh, imitate? Actually, that's one of the challenges we usually face. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when, when an artist is working as a creative, um, things you don't have the inspiration. But then in this case, you you know you have to bring your A game every time. So even if you see the you know the sculpture is not working, yeah. you just refer to the sketches you did, the caricatures, mm -hmm. and just try and make it work. Because since you came up with the caricatures, that means you can actually come up with the sculpture again. How long does it take you to make that? Uh, it depends. Uh, but mostly a week to two. A week to two? Yeah. Wow. Can I ask who was that things that you didn't quite get? <laughs> um, <laughs> I prefer to keep that confidential. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, and save, and save Maybe face. you should tell us. No? <laughs> no, I'm just saving face. <laughs> okay, fine. And for you, Rose, what are some of the biggest challenges that you face in this industry? I'm sure it's new, it's not, nobody else has really gotten into it, so this means that you're domineering it right that, now. That's right. But, so what are the, some, some of the challenges? Challenges that we have are, of course, it's if you think about you needing you needing three p people just to manipulate one puppet. Mm -hmm. If we're working with actors, of course, you only have one person; they do their own voice. So you have those issues like challenges of of uh, budget because we, we need it's an, an expensive show compared to just working with actors. Yeah, mm -hmm. because imagine creating this and then having to yeah. pay the actors as well. That's right. That must be something. Wow, this is this is fascinating. I can't, I can't even, <laughs> I can't even get over it. But do we get like some of the characters that you use? Do they sometimes get back to you and tell you, Mulini Fanya Vibaya, uh, I didn't say those things. I'm not like that. Why are you making me look bad? Do you get some of that, those comments? Uh, we do, but of course, you know, it's it's. Uh, I think the show is, is done in good fun, even though it's very. Um, it's, it's a political satire show. Mm -hmm. Jeff Koinanga has been to see us, for example, and a few other people. And w once they come and see us, and I, I think it's, it's more lighthearted. It's more no, 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 nothing serious. Well, of course, it's a very serious show, <laughs> <laughs> but it has that other aspect as well. All right. Do you see yourself venturing into um, any other form of art instead of just X, Y, Z? Do you see you coming up with another show? that uses the same um, mechanism to entertain? Well, at the Bonnie Media has been developing other programs, children's programs, for example. We did a pilot back in 2010, I think, and then, you know, various things that we've been trying to, to move on. All right. Thank you so much for your time. It's been lovely. I will take photos with this. I'll try probably <laughs> as we close this show. Sure. Thank you so, so much for coming, Ted. Thank you, Ross. Thank you for and having us. This is amazing. I hope you do bigger and better things. We're looking forward to new shows in the industry. Thank you, Ross. Sure. Okay. All right. We're taking a very short commercial break. When we return after I have learned to work on this, this is Jeff Kuinange. Yeah, no? I hope I did that right. We'll be right back with this commercial break. Don't go too far.